Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today, boys and girls, we are going to be building an awesome, awesome survival starter desert house. Now, in front of me, I have this little blank space. As you can see, there is a little village going on over there in the distance in the fog. Um, and the materials I'm going to start off with are some sandstone, some spruce wood planks, some wooden trapdoors, and some spruce wood fence. So let's get into this. First, we're going to place ourselves one two, three, and four sandstone blocks up in a pillar and bring it on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're now going to raise this end by three as well and join it along the top like so. What we can then do is count three blocks to the side and place a block in the middle and another one on top. Then we can go in, we can grab ourselves some sandstone stairs and place one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks just like that. We're then going to replace this block with a spruce wood plank and do exactly the same on each side. And we're going to place ourselves a wooden trapdoor on the front of that, like so. We can also grab ourselves some glass panes and place one, two, three inside each window gap. We're going to grab ourselves our sandstone once again. And on each end, we're going to place one, two, three, and four. Just like that. We're now going to grab some spruce wood stairs and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we're going to overhang it on each of the edges. We're now on the top of this sandstone. We're going to place ourselves some spruce wood fences. We're now going to grab these stone slabs. We're going to hop one block in and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, leaving one block at the edge. And we're going to bring this another block back. Perfect. What we can then do along the edges is place some more sandstone. Now on the side, we're going to take this back by one, two, three, four, and five blocks. We can do that on the other side. And we're going to raise these three more. Now along the back, we can do exactly the same as we did on that side there. We're going to grab ourselves the stairs and do the same. We're also going to place upside down stairs on the back ends of the normal facing stairs. We're going to go in and we're going to grab ourselves some spruce wood slabs. We're going to place them on the top. One more on either side. Another one on top. And we're going to bring it along. Perfect. What we can now do on the sides of this is place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven more sandstone. We're also on the backs of these slabs are going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and bring them up by one more as well. We can then count ourselves four blocks in and remove a block build two around and two more and place an upside down stair. Either side of this we're going to place a spruce wood block, leave a gap and place another. We can then on the end place two sandstone, a sandstone on top of each of the spruce wood and in the middle gap we're going to place an upside down stair with a glass pane in the middle block. What we can now do on these sides is place one, two, and three more blocks of sandstone and join these along the back. We're going to raise these by two more each side, bring them along the top and fill in the sides exactly the same.
we're now going to add another layer of sandstone on top of every existing one. What we can now do is jump one block in and place one, two, three, four, five, and six. Do exactly the same here and take it all the way up until there are two in the middle. We're now going to grab our spruce wood stairs and bring these all the way along the front and overhang it once again by one on each side. We're then going to do some upside down stairs and we're going to do some normal stairs until we reach the top center. We're now going to grab our spruce wood planks and on the inside we're going to remove this top layer of sandstone. We're then going to replace this with some spruce wood and fill this side in as well. What we can now do is remove the nine stair blocks and place two more rows of spruce wood. We're now going to remove a stair on each side, grab ourselves our sandstone stairs and place one, two, three to the ends and connect them in the middle as well. We're now going to grab our spruce wood fence and on the inside spruce block place three until we reach the ground. We can now place one in the center block and some trapdoors on the back. What we're now going to do is place one spruce wood either side, leave a two block gap and place another, a sandstone in the middle, trapdoors on the front of the spruce and glass in the center. We can now grab our spruce wood stairs and fill in the rest of the roof. Okay, we're now going to grab ourselves an oak door and place one block in this two block gap that we left earlier. We're now going to jump to the side on the right side or the left side, whichever you prefer. Break the block three blocks in, delete that, and we're going to place ourselves a stone slab on the back of that. We're going to place ourselves a door and an upside down stair on top. On the other side, we're just going to fly around. And we're going to break ourselves a one, two block window with some spruce wood either side. Some trapdoors on the front of them blocks and some glass in the middle with two sandstone stairs above the window. What we can also do is add one, two, three and four more spruce slabs and two on top making more of a curve in the center. Like this, we could also remove these two slabs as well which makes it even more curved. Now on the inside of the build, we're going to remove this one row of sandstone and replace it with some slabs. What we can then do is remove the entire floor 
And this is going to be stone slabs as well. If the stone slabs on the ceiling did bother you, what you could do is actually remove all of these. This is just an idea though. And replace them with full spruce wood blocks, so everything is the same level. It would just mean from the outside you would not see the stone, but the spruce wood. You would also need to replace the door that we broke down. Now inside on the top floor, we're just going to place some more upside down spruce wood stairs, just to make the roof look a little bit clean. Perfect, we're now going to jump to the far wall and break the three blocks just like this. We're going to jump on down, we're going to place a stair on this block and bring it all the way down until we touch the floor. We're then just going to simply place some upside down stairs in this little gap here. And what you could do in this one, ooh, is that connecting? Just like that. And then we could place a random chest under there for a little extra storage. You could essentially even remove this one and have two chests because I think it does look a little bit cleaner. We've also a full block like so, but it is up to you. We're going to also add some lighting in the house, so on the back of all the spruce wood blocks, I'm just going to simply place some torches. On the upstairs you could do exactly the same. This admits a lot of light inside the house, making sure nothing spawns. We could also place some torches on the outside, next to the door, and maybe around the back if you wanted to. Just like this. Now on the back of the house, we're going to grab some glass blocks and under each of the windows, place two of them. And we're going to place ourselves some wooden trapdoors all the way around and on the bottoms. What we can then do is grab ourselves any flowers of your choice and just place them in there like that. We can now add some more of these around other parts of the builds. We're going to add one next to the door. And on the front of the house. But we are going to put signs around the front ones just to make them a little bit different. On both corners under the stairs, we're going to place three spruce wood fences. Like this, and we could also do that on this side as well. We're now going to grab ourselves some oak wood, jump to this side of the build, jump one block out, and remove a block. We're going to bring this along one, two, three, four, and five, and six. We're then going to fill this in with normal oak wood. We're now going to bring it out another one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And bring it all the way back round. We're now going to dig out all the sand in the center. And replace this with some dirt. We can then hold all of this up and place in some seeds. What you could do for a water source is just remove the middle four blocks. And place in some water for a water source. And for the sake of the video, I'm just going to bone mill all of these to wheat. Now around the edges, we're going to grab ourselves some pressure plates and place them all the way around.
We're now going to grab ourselves some stone slabs and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. We're then going to bring out one more block and take it all the way around the build. We can place one in front of the door like this. We're going to take it under all the fences at the back. One block over. And of course, we're going to connect it around the other side. We're then from this corner of the stone slabs going to break another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 blocks out. And take them all the way along until they reach the farm. We're now going to count another row along with some spruce. With some stone slabs. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. Remove two more layers. Now we're going to remove all the sand in the center. We can now place some more stone slabs. We're going to take this another layer down. For the bottom floor, we can just fill it in with some spruce wood. And we can go and grab ourselves a water bucket and fill this entire area in. Now we have an awesome little swimming pool at the front of our build. But that is it guys, that is the house complete. The Minecraft Desert Starter House. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. It motivates me to make more videos. Comment down below what you'd like to see me build next. Subscribe if you are new around here. I love you all so much. Stay creative and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.